Faust is always pro properly just breast. <laughs> properly breast? Properly. <laughs> oh man, that was a Faustian slip. But, well, you know, I think the best thing about the Strive theme is that if it weren't a metal track, if it weren't a heavy rock track in the background, you'd realize how stupid the tune really is. It could be a Saturday morning cartoon themed song, couldn't it? Why am I being so rude? I actually like the song. I just feel compelled compelled to be rude about everything. I don't know why. It's something it's it's I think it's your fault, really. As soon as I turn the stream on, I'm just like, alright. Time to insult everything that I actually kind of like. Kind of emotionally hurt. <laughs> emotionally hurt. What does this, this tune sound like? This is totally ripped off from something. Everything in this world leads to soul and light, man. Da 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 Come together. It's Come Together by the Beatles. Something I want you all to know right here at the start before I start playing Strive is that I will probably moan and complain about a lot of things, but not because I actually dislike it. I really like... <laughs> I really like... I really do like the franchise, and I really do like the game. But something about Guilty Gear makes me makes me moan and complain about it all the time. But that it has nothing to do with disliking it, it's just... I just think it's... I just for some reason feel compelled to, to, to insult it all the time. You know what it is? It's because it's so, like, full of itself. And everyone's so overdressed. Look at these people. Actually, we chose the wrong characters. These two are not actually too overdressed. It's the other characters. So you know what? They've toned it down. They've toned down the character designs for these two. Like, one of them is just in a suit and suspenders, and the other person just forgot to button up his jacket. But the other characters in the game, like, in, in XR, they were all overdressed. I would say, actually, in Strive, what I like about the character design in Strive, they've all kind of toned it down a bit. Like, you know when you leave Harajuku, and you get on the train, and you go to another station, and you're like, oh man. I wish I had not worn my giant eyeball hair accessory. What's the name of that girl? Not Lucia. Do you know the girl in KOF 14? She's like Kari Pamu Pamu, but in a fighting game. I can't remember what her name is. Anyway, basically, I feel like I feel like everyone who goes to Harajuku dressed like that. They leave Harajuku on to go to another station, and they're kind of like, "Oh my god, why am I still dressed like this?" Because it works really well in Harajuku. You like you belong there, but then you get on the train, you go to like. I don't know, some other, any other station, Tokyo Station, and people just looking at you like... Not that I've ever dressed like that anyway, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. That feeling when you are in cosplay outside of the convention hall. Exactly, exactly. I feel like it feels weirder in Japan, but like in, in the West it's like not as weird for some reason. I feel like people running around in, in Halloween and costumes and stuff is actually like more normalized in the West. Sylvie, that's the name of the... Cool. I actually don't even know what her fighting style was. Was she actually any good? Faust is always properly dressed. That's true. Faust is always pro properly dressed. <laughs> properly dressed? <laughs> oh man, that was a Faustian slip. My favorite thing about Faust is, uh, you know, he's paper bag material. <laughs> I've, I've said this on stream before, but the first time I heard that phrase, like, I was just, I was, I was blown away. I was like, that is the rudest possible thing you could say to a human being. Hey, what do you think of so-and-so? Oh, yeah, man, they're paper bag material. I was like, what, what's paper bag material? Oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> Properly breast is kind of his best kind of cut of breast. I feel like the paper bag was a designer's completely random decision to quickly fix his face. I mean, it's the quick decision to fix anyone's face, really. You know, sometimes you have a little bit too much, uh, too much apple juice. To drink one evening and you're like well we can salvage this situation I've got a paper bag if you will be so kind how did the stream go downhill so quickly I'm an upstanding gentleman none of this what, what do you call it Shimoneta you beans you're the important part of this stream if you weren't here it would just be a guy in a room playing a niche game which is actually not very niche at all have you guys seen the steam charts on this game all-time high on Steam, and that's not even counting PS4 and PS5. All-time high on Steam. When I checked last night, it was 30,000. And do you guys see that tweet? Comparing, like, all-time highs for, like, the other two... I say the other two. The two biggest fighting games of, like, all time, like, over the past 15 years. 30 years? The past 25 years of fighting games, like, the biggest fighting games of all time. The newest versions, 
had something like, what, 14,000 or 15,000 or something as their all-time highs over the past like six years or seven years. Strive, day one, 30,000. Over 30,000! Ah, I need to do that, that gift. So we're, so we're, so we're 9,000! You know, I might just make that my, my subscription gift instead of the animation. Cheers! Let's celebrate the release of probably the most important Japanese fighting game ever. A big Japanese publisher releasing a game with rollback netcode. Who cares if the game is good? Who cares if it smells nice? <laughs> Who cares if it's got the May theme in it? It doesn't matter. Even if the game is crap, go and buy it because it's got rollback netcode in it. Ah. I was about to make a really terrible pun about how I'm not going to roll back this feeling. And now that I've told you about the pun, I've also kind of told you the pun.